Hey guys, so this birthday vlog ended up being so long, it was like over an hour even after editing, so I had to split it up into two videos. So this part you're watching now is going to be part one, and then I'm going to upload part two right after this, just to make it easier on the uploading process. I don't know what that was. I was a motorcycle. But yeah, it's going to make it easier for me to upload and a little bit shorter for you guys to watch. You can watch it in parts. So I had to figure out how I want to cut it off um, and then start the next one, but that's what's happening. So, Hey guys, so today's my birthday and there's a few really fun things that I'm doing to celebrate during quarantine and being home alone because Adam is working and I just wanted to share with you guys. First thing I'm doing is working. Still working today on my birthday. Second thing I'm doing, hiding from a stink bug in my kitchen. It's just crawling and flying around in the kitchen. I was in there trying to make eggs and I kept hearing um, a buzzing, like flying sound and I didn't know what it was until I saw it in my window. So I put the eggs back in the fridge and left the kitchen and I can't go in there now. Third thing I'm doing for my birthday is listening to my neighbor blast music from downstairs. And not just music, the same song over and over. I don't even know what song it is. It sounds like just a beat. There's no words. So that's what I'm up to right now. But I wanted to start vlogging because at some point today I want to do some birthday makeup just for fun. And then I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite Monet products right now, which is their skincare line, and it's amazing. And I just got their makeup balm in the mail, their makeup vanishing balm in the mail, and I really want to try it, so that's part of the reason I want to do my makeup today. But also, I've been talking about doing a makeup tutorial video pretty soon, so might as well be part of my birthday vlog because it's something I love doing anyways. So that's my birthday, and then when Adam gets home later tonight, around 7 or so, we are going to get Little Caesars Pizza and watch a movie, so that's the plan. No, but really I can't complain. It, it's been a good birthday so far, and I'm not really picky about my birthday. Like, I never loved having parties growing up because I don't like the attention on me like that. Everyone's sitting there staring at me while they're singing happy birthday. I've never loved that, but I mean, obviously I always appreciate all of the parties my mom threw for me, but I was grateful to share most of them with my brother Luke because our birthdays are like two weeks apart. So that was always nice, not having all the attention on me. But um, yeah, I really can't complain. I don't mind sitting in my house alone for my birthday. I'm an introvert, so I love being alone. I don't mind doing my makeup for my birthday, that's fine. Well, that's it, I will see you in a few. I gotta get back to work. Since it's my birthday, I figured we could do a little bit of unboxing. Some of the stuff I already opened, um, these weren't necessarily for my birthday, but since I'm getting a bunch of packages, it kind of feels like birthday gifts in the mail. So I just wanted to show you some of the stuff I got. Some of it's from Monate, some of it's not. I think this has a knife in it so I can open some of these. First of all, I got a card from one of my Monate uplines and this was so nice. I was not expecting this at all. So thank you to Hayes. So that was so nice. I was not expecting that at all in the mail. So that was really nice. I got that yesterday. Okay, this came a couple days ago. This was, this is some Monate products that I ordered that I really wanted to try out or some that I'm running low on. Let me show you. What did I order? Oh yes, so um, Heidi gave me some samples of this and I loved it and wanted to buy some of my own. So I got the Restore Leave-In Conditioner. This is for after the shower. Love that stuff. And then, okay, Heidi also gave me samples of skincare to use and I ran out so I ordered some more. She gave me the Be Balance Foamy Cleanser and I loved it so I ordered a new one. This could end up being a long video but it's my birthday so I'll talk about this more later because this is kind of what I wanted to show you is my little skincare routine but I got the cleanser. Um, she also gave me the moisturizer and I ran out of that so I've ordered more of that but Monate has like a four-step skincare system. This is the Skin Revitalizing Essence and then I also got the Rewind, um, Rewind Age Control Nectar and then the moisturizer. They have really cute packaging too which I love. Ooh! So this is like a little scoopy thing. You scoop it, put it on. And then lastly from this box, I ordered um, the Makeup Vanishing Balm. This is to remove your makeup um, instead of makeup wipes, which actually aren't that great for your face and they don't get all your makeup off. So, oh, okay, so it comes with a little towelette thing you can use after you 
put the balm on, you use this to wipe all your makeup off, and I think that's reusable. And then it comes with a little scoopy scoop, and this is the balm. Okay, that was my big order from Monet that I am so excited to use. Then I also got this Monet t-shirt. Really cute. I don't know what it is lately, but I love t-shirts. I love wearing t-shirts to bed. I love wearing t-shirts all day long. So I got a medium because I want to wear this, possibly crop it. I always feel so bad buying a shirt just to cut it, but I might crop it, I'm not sure. So those are from the Mandy Sue shop. But I also ordered, this was from Amazon, I ordered um, the new Hunger Games book. I took the cover off. I hate trying to read with these things on. This is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes for, by Suzanne Collins. This is like a prequel to the Hunger Games. It's about President Snow when he was younger. My sister-in-law started reading it and said it's really good. She read it in like a couple days, so. And then lastly, BoxyCharm, and I already opened this too. So it came with Dynamic resurfacing facial pads skin smoothing pads and then I got this Meissler magic makeup remover cleanser I don't need that because I just got the makeup vanishing balm I'm sure it works great though this is by Tarte and Tarte is amazing then I got high pigment lip gloss with coconut oil ooh I'll probably use that and then we got this Tristique conceal cover and correction crayon and lastly a peel ultra creme Cream, cream? Liquid lipstick. I don't know. It's a liquid lipstick. So that is really pretty too. But anyways, those were some packages I just wanted to open because like I said, it makes me feel like it's my birthday. Um, especially with, you know, coronavirus happening, I can't really do much for my birthday, so might as well open packages. I have my FabFitFun package coming next week, and I'm really excited about that. That will be a separate video. Okay, that's it for this portion of the video. I will be doing my makeup and skincare soon, and this video is going to be really long, and I kind of don't care because it's my birthday, and I'm just doing some fun things for my birthday since I'm stuck at home, so I hope you enjoy. Alright, I'm busting out the vlog camera, so if the quality is different, it's because I was using my phone before, and and my phone is dying so I couldn't really use it to film this but uh, I want to do my makeup for you guys and do like a little tutorial hopefully this doesn't end up being super long but um, for those who have been asking lately here it is um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using how I'm using it and that's what I'm doing I didn't do anything to my face yet I probably should wash it but I'm gonna be washing it in a little bit after this anyways I kind of don't care I'm not going anywhere. One thing I did do already this morning that I wanted to show you and I forgot is um, this Lash and Brow Serum. Now I'm getting the low battery, what the heck? Okay, we've got a fresh battery in there. Also, if you can hear the fan, I'm sorry, but it's hot today, so I'm not turning it off. But anyways, I was saying this Lash and Brow Serum, I did put on already, you just pull it out, and you just kind of put it on. I already did it, so I don't really want to do it right now, but you just put it on like where your hair, where your hair, where your lashes grow from your eyelid and sometimes I'll put it through my eyelids a little bit. I literally can't talk. Through my lashes. You just put it on. Okay, it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty easy and self-explanatory, but I'm having such a hard time. I will show you that at some point. Okay, so makeup. Let's just get started with this so I don't take forever. So lately instead of primer, which normally I like to use um, the Professionals by Benefit. Instead, lately, I have been using the Monet Rejuvenic Oil. This stuff has like 101 uses. You can use it for so many different things. I use it in my hair. I do oil treatments. I use it to control frizz. I use it on my skin as a moisturizer. It's, it's really great for a lot of things, but lately I've been using it as a primer. So what I do is I just take some of it in my hand. Don't need it a lot. Just rub it in your hands. And then press it in. It feels so nice. It smells really good. And then I just rub the excess on my hands if I have any leftovers. Like I said, it works as a moisturizer. So and this trick I learned from I believe it was Jacqueline Hill. She sets her primer. Normally I would always go in and put concealer or foundation, whatever I was gonna do next after my primer. I never thought about setting my primer. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. I'm using Airspun. It's supposed to be a tutorial and I'm not even telling you what I'm using. And you don't have to put a heavy layer of this powder, just like kind of throw it on. Then from there, personally I don't use foundation unless I'm doing like 
going to like a really fancy event or something. But even then, sometimes I don't. I just, I don't see a need for it because I don't mind some of my like natural like freckles and blemishes showing through a little bit. It just looks more natural when I do it that way. So I don't really care. But if I were to use foundation, lately I've been trying out this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation. But this has been pretty good. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty cheap, so it's not bad for a cheap foundation. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'll show you how I use it. This was either a BoxyCharm or a FabFitFun item, but it's not. I usually use the Morphe Beauty Blender, by the way. Ignore the mess behind me. But this, um, I think came in a boxy charm. But anyways, I'm going to take this foundation, put some on. I don't know if this is enough. I don't really know how I feel about this foundation yet. I've only used it a couple times, so I'm still kind of testing it out. But it's not bad. It's got, it's a very light coverage, and I go over it with concealer. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's pretty good for the price, if you're looking for a cheap, cheap foundation. Then for concealer, I use the Tarte Shape Tape. You could also use this Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. This is by Maybelline. This is really cheap, still works really well, just as well as this. I just still have some of this and want to use it. I don't know if I prefer one over the other. I like them both, but that other one is a pretty good like dupe, I guess. So this I just put under my eyes, and this is in the shade Light Sand. This I kind of put everywhere, even though I did foundation this time. Normally I use my concealer like as foundation, so I just put it everywhere. So I probably didn't have to do that this time, but it's like a habit. So literally putting it everywhere and then blending it out. And I put the concealer on my eyes too as like a, an eye primer. I know they make specific eye primers and I think I even have some, but I just, it does the same thing to use concealer. I filmed an IGTV for um, like my everyday makeup look, which is like a lot less product than what you're gonna see in this. So I just have to edit that and I will post it, but let me know if you want like a video like that here on my YouTube also, but it will be on my Instagram. So I gotta figure out how to edit IGTV. Always bring it down your neck so you don't have like a harsh line just in case your concealer is like a little bit different colored than your actual skin. Basically you just want your neck to look the same color as your face or else it's very obvious that you're wearing a lot of makeup. So so now that I have done that, I'm going to set my face again. Normally I use the Airspun. That is the cheapest one I found that works really well. The Airspun is really good. You can get this at like Walmart, Target, anything like that. But the past couple times I've done a face, a full face. Um, I've used this Becca Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This stuff is interesting though because it has this little lid under the lid and it says keep me closed to keep me cool. And when you put this powder on, it is it is cool. Like it feels wet almost and it's strange but I kind of like it. <laughs> like it feels like I'm putting something wet on my face right now even though it's just this powder. It's because it's cool. Which is but anyways, I set my entire face with this. Then I grab my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. Skin Kiss Bronzer for face and body. Why do these always have such long names? Like, can't you just say L'Oreal Bronzer? Anyways, this is the bronzer I'm using. Um, this is a drugstore bronzer. I like it. So I just put this all over my cheeks. So I look like I've been in the sun and got a little sunburn. Put it up on my forehead hair in my brush. I put a little on my nose just to give it color and a little down here. So basically a little bit all over to kind of make it look like I have some color because I just made myself look real pale. Then I take the Hoola bronzer which is also a really good bronzer you can use everywhere but I use this for contour usually. It's a little bit dark, darker than the bronzer I just put on so basically it comes with this little brush thingy and I just do that and make like a line and then this side and then this and put it up here so once I have all that on I'm gonna take 
I just realized I haven't really been showing you the brushes I'm using. I'm sorry. To set my face, I just use a big fluffy brush. Um, for bronzer, I use another big fluffy brush, but this one is dedicated to bronzer. And then for the contour, I'm using this smaller-ish angled type brush. I'm really good at um, explaining things, but I use this to kind of blend it out. Oh, come on. Blend it out a little. But it should still look sort of like a harsh line because it's contour. It's like bringing in your cheekbones. You could also contour your nose at this point. I am terrible at doing that, so I'm not even going to try. If you want to know how to do that, this ain't the video. Bronzer is on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bake, not cookies. Again, you can use Airspun. I use it to bake sometimes. I actually need more of this soon, and it works really well. But I've been trying to use more of the products I've been getting from boxes and stuff. So lately I've been using this, um, I don't know how to say this. Siete, Siet, something London, that, this is a translucent powder. So I've been trying to use this, so I have like two of these from these boxes, so. And I'm using a different blender, I'm using it dry. Personally, I prefer to do it dry because when I use a wet one, it just, I don't know, it doesn't seem to work as well for me. So if you have some tips on that, let me know, or if this is how you do it too, cool. Um, I'm using another dry beauty blender, and I'm just going to dip it in. I'm using this flat edge. You can see I've used it before. Um, using this flat edge, I'm going to dip it in. And then I'm going to kind of... Oh, I need more than that. And then I'm going to, like, bake under my eyes where we put concealer. I want it to look a little lighter. Also on this edge, I'm trying to make, like, a straight line so that when we do the eyeshadow, it helps kind of shape it. I'm not the best at this, so... Don't expect it to be perfect. Kind of like that. And this doesn't have to be perfect. It could be messy. Again, kind of make that line out. Whew. Wow, this looks really bright on camera. I would just say try to make like this part somewhat even. Because you don't want like your eyeshadow to go this way on one side and like this way on another. And then you're going to do it here. Right under where we put that contour. This is going to help make your contour look a little bit sharper and clean. Kind of like that. And then, other side. I don't know if you can tell, but the fan is blowing a bunch of stuff all over the place. Especially my hair into my face while I'm trying to do stuff. And then I want to do a little on my chin. Wow, this is already 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. This is like the easier part. Okay, and then a little up here. Highlight my forehead a little. Honestly, this baking part you don't have to do. I've been doing it lately just for fun, but you, I would mainly do it personally when I'm going out or something, um, like I said, for an event. This just helps your makeup stay a lot longer. This obviously, like I said, helps shape your eyeshadow, but you can do other things, like some people put like tape, face tape on there. Um, so you don't have to do this baking part. This is just if you want to be real fancy. And in this video, we're real fancy. Okay. This white is like not helping the camera focus on my face. So while we're baking, we are going to do... Let's do eyes next. This is where it gets fun. I literally have no idea what I want to do yet. Mm -hmm. 